Hi, Mrs. Bob. Welcome back if you're coming back, or hello if you're not. I have been a busy bee. <laughs> I've been a busy bee. I have done so much stuff, just like grindy stuff, that I didn't think anybody would be um, super interested in because it has taken me probably a week <laughs> to do. But then I also did a fun thing that I probably should have included you on, but I didn't really think about it. Uh, so let's just go through it now. <laughs> I built the first shop on the server. Woo! <laughs> and now there's a few more that have popped up that will also, oh, hello. Um, that will also <laughs> go through. And um, yeah, I'm just so excited that we've got like economy and <laughs> we're working on this kind of stuff. So let me just go through this uh, here. And look at how cute it is. You know, it's you know, she's pretty basic, but but I like her. You know, she's nice. A little like a little dark and don't step on the crop. <laughs> a little dark and witchy. Okay. And then and it smells lovely here. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so it wasn't really, like, it wasn't initially a shop, so it was just this enchanting table. I had enough stuff to make it happen, and it was just for the public to, to use and anybody to enchant whatever they needed to enchant. Um, and then I decided to maybe make a little business venture out of it. Also, I got a cat, a beautiful one. Hey, look at me, please. A black cat with green eyes. I love it. I made a little business venture out of it. So I am selling some lapis. And then I am also selling books. I am doing the villager trading. And I really don't... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it right now, man. This is difficult. I'll show you guys what, what I've got going on for that. Um, but I do have mending, silk touch, fortune, a bunch of different stuff. And then I've also got some more like random ones over here that aren't as great, but people could um, buy for a cheaper price and then just combine if they want to. Um, and then up here, there's nothing. Just um, my friends, my chicken friends. <laughs> That's about it. Then let's go ahead and take a peek into this one, I don't think it's quite... <gasps> I don't know if it's completely done yet, but it is different than when I came in here the first time. Look at this! It's so cute! I love it. So this is going to be a banner shop. You know. <laughs> and uh, this is Bells. Yep, that's... I already placed it. <laughs> I already placed an order. Because I don't want to make any. But, you know. Then that... That is a, is a mob spawner that is still a work in progress, I believe. And this is... <laughs> this is Alyssa's um, block shop. She's selling different kinds... Oop, different kinds of... Oh my gosh, different kinds of blocks. Um, which I believe she is still collecting. And then Dak is going to... Oh, I am so sorry. Dak's going to be building over here. And then this beautiful spookiness is Dark Angel's nethery um, stuff. I don't have anything to recycle. <laughs> um, oh, and it's almost nighttime. But these are so cool, these banners. I love them. This building in general is so cool. Hello, baby. <laughs> I love the face. It's a great, oh my gosh, blue and green eyeballs. And he's selling potions. He's selling lots of potions. Um, and some nethery things. And while I'm here, I'm going to, I'm, <laughs> I need ender chests. I'm so tired of trying to go all the way back to my house, which is so far away. Well, my house, quotation marks. So far away <laughs> to get my stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to want three of them for five emeralds or two diamonds. I'd rather use emeralds. So five, ten, fifteen. Oh, oh, 
Okay, I'm bad at math. Right? That should do it. Okay, so three under chests. Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I came up here. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go put this in my. Let's actually use one right now. I do already have Silk Touch and Fortune from my book adventures, so let's put my stuff away so I'm not, you know, losing it <laughs> if I die. Heck yeah, I feel so, I so, I feel so proper and official. Oh my gosh. It's like a little, like an achievement in itself, really. <laughs> And then I'll also put one in here so that people can also be accessing their, uh, their ender stuffs, <laughs> their wallets, I guess. Um, so let's go into here and I want to show you the other thing that I did, um, build that is going to help me quite a bit. And it's actually going to help the next shop idea I have. Oh, hello. I almost swung my sword like that just to point and I would have I would have surely died <laughs> so this I I went to a neighboring village and I spoke to the people there and I found a family that was interested in coming and working for me here at our village and uh, so it's farmer Bob and his family they were like yep sure I would love to and so the deal is that um, I'm gonna get farmer Bob the seeds He'll be able to take them back to his family, and in exchange, he will give me bone meal. So it's a very, you know, symbiotic, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> relationship. Um, and it's good. So he just hangs out here every so often. You know, he goes back to his village, um, which is in that direction, which is why I keep <laughs> pointing that way. Um, and just brings his family back some seeds. His village didn't have a whole lot of them. So I'm glad that I was able to, you know, just help them out and that uh, he was able to help me out in return. So it's great. Guys, Farmer Bob is dead. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't see it, but I just heard it, and I'm so sad. I'm so sad. What am I going to tell his family? He literally was only here for, like, a week. Not even one episode did he make it. Oh, my gosh. Guys. 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 <sighs> well, you know what that means. I'm going to have to go gonna have to go bring the bad news to his family and I uh, I don't even know I've never had to deliver that kind of news before so okay well let's go get let's go get um like a condolences present I guess that I can bring to his family oh my gosh okay okay um well, while we're over here, I can I can <laughs> catch you up to speed, I guess, on what has been happening. Um, so I did move out of this little cavern. It's still cute with all of the uh, glowberry things. But now I am, like, more officially over in the swamp. I do not have a house, <laughs> um, so that's a thing. I think that a cake is going to be a good, a good condolences present. Uh, let me just, I need to name these pickaxes so I know for sure that I'm mining, <laughs> mining with the right one. Um, so I'm going to take you over to the swamp now while I get prepared for my journey. Um, yeah, to go, <laughs> oh man, to go break the news to Farmer Bob's family. So I will... It is kind of a journey. So I will come back when I am over there in my little um, hut <laughs> hut area. Okay, please do not look um, <laughs> too closely at this absolute disaster 
of an area that I have currently. It is a work in progress and I swear, <laughs> I swear it will not stay like this for hopefully much longer. But I really wanted to get my shop full as, as full of as many books as possible. So I, I really just was like farm and, and that's it. So for like the past week, I've just been farming, um, farming, these things um farming villagers and like basically emerald farming and you know it's gone pretty okay my shop is decently stocked so i just have my tiny little farm over here which i'm definitely rude i'm definitely gonna have to make a bigger one somewhere we did get um to a village not me personally but um i bribed somebody for these cocoa beans um i have a very not uh good chicken farm <laughs> some piggies which oh my gosh look at it it's covered in mud and it has a flower on its head i'm telling you guys you gotta get the <laughs> you gotta get this texture pack it's so stinking cute oh, i love it um this is uh my mailbox it's um you know yeah okay <laughs> Um, and then let's go and look into the magic making area. It is a very, very primitive. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Um, I literally just, they come in, they farm potatoes on their own, and sometimes I'll throw in my own potatoes, and I just have a poop ton of beds, and they just poop out little babies. Look, I got a couple in here now. Um, and then I just go through the painstaking work of trying to get one to come into here by breaking the dirt and then I close it up because I did have a zombie fall in there one time and that was not good um then I just come over here once they're already in I can put the workstation down here and then tote them along into my igloo <laughs> looking things which my intention is not to be igloos but I wanted to have you guys along before I made any more progress on them so my villagers they're mostly safe in here probably this is my mending guy Timmy love him um, and I do have silk touch and then lots of other stuff and then down here ugh, I was kind of hard to fit through that door <laughs> Down here, I've got quite a few more, and I will probably end up extending this even further. The problem is, is there's a massive cave underneath me here, which is not great. Um, so I've got all of these guys, and then all of these guys, and I've already run out of space, so I'm going to have to expand here pretty soon. Um, and then just these little ones to fill up with the random guys that are not librarians, since... I have a library store thing. I need librarians more than anything. Um, yeah, so that's that's what this has been, which is I don't even know. I did not. I knew that villagers were annoying because I've I've messed with them like slightly in the past, but holy moly. They are not fun. They're not fun to deal with. And then I also have a bunch of uh, iron golems floating around here, which is also not super fun to deal with. Um, so yeah, this is um, my existence right now. It's ugly and terrible, and I am so ready to just get <laughs> get going on what I want, what I want my place to look like, um, and probably... Right now, I will work on these mushrooms, since I have you guys here with me. <laughs> um, but first, first and foremost, oh, speaking of babies, I will have to go to the neighboring village and let them know about the sadness that has occurred. I'll probably need a boat. Okay. I'll see you when I get there. Hi, Mrs. Bob. Farmer Bob Jr., are you sure? Let's go, Farmer Bob Jr. Let's, uh, let's make sure your family here is prosperous. 
Okay, so that was a very long walk <laughs> from way over in the village, but Farmer Bob Jr. is here. He's a little less angry. We talked on the walk over, so, you know, calmed him down a bit. Now he's more skeptical than anything, and I don't blame him. So, Farmer Bob Jr. is here. He's got his seeds area for people to drop off when they're harvesting, and, um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited to have you here, Farmer Bob Jr. Thank you so much. So in my pockets, I have, hopefully, enough resources to finish these mushrooms. So, for my, <laughs> my one trick of the video, um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna build them. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. That was literally all I was able to get done. 
I thought I had more resources, but I clearly did not. So I hope that you like it. I hope that it's not uh, too ugly for your eyeballs to look at. And then I'll have to work on this one when I have a few more resources. I think that that's all that I'm missing is the red concrete. Um, and I should have everything else, I think. Famous last words. But yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Um, these, of course, I will place out. Replace for end rods. I just don't have them yet. So I hope you like it. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments. So, yep, <laughs> that's what I've got. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, all that nonsense, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye!